everyone, and welcome to another edition of Paleo News. It is Shark Week this week on Discovery Channel, so I did, decided to dedicate this entire episode uh, to uh, shark, shark stories. Now let's start off with many new species found in Flagstaff, Arizona. Shark species. Now if you have never been to Arizona and don't know much about geology, uh, Flagstaff isn't what you would expect Arizona to look like. A lot of people assume that Arizona looks just like this. In fact, that's where I live, too. That's what it looks like where I live. I live right by that very same mountain, as a matter of fact. Now, Flagstaff looks like this. Almost nothing of how you would expect Arizona to look like. And these are where these uh, new shark species were discovered. The sharks that were discovered lived 270 million years ago, which means they lived in the Permian period. The first of these sharks is Nanoscalmi nitens. It was three feet long with blade-like teeth, believed to be a scavenger and a predator of smaller fish. The second one is Neosalvados flagstaffensis, which is slightly bigger at about six and a half feet long with gripping teeth, also believed, believed to be a scavenger but hunting larger fish. And the third one that was named is by far the largest that was discovered so far. It is called... We're going to excuse me on this one. KB Bab Venator Swifte. This one was 19 feet long. It was the great white of its day and it had big serrated teeth. Also, there are many, many more sharks discovered here, but these are the only ones that have been named. And finally for today, there have been uh, two chunks of coprolite discovered. Uh, one was about fist size and the other one was, it says, 30% larger. Uh, these copper lights had impressions in them that look like bite marks. Uh, the bite marks were about 6.5 millimeters deep and uh, the copper light didn't have any bone matter or feathers or scales in it uh, but from the size of the copper light and the fact that it had a phosphate rich composition made scientists believe that uh, the copper light came from something crocodilian. And after taking molds of the impression in, of the teeth, uh, they believe the copper light was bitten by a relative of today's tiger shark. This species has, was not named in the article. But uh, they don't believe that the shark spun around and just took a bite out of this turd floating around. Uh, they think the crocodile, you know, had to use the toilet right at a very unfortunate time. The shark came up and bit him in the lower abdomen region and uh, bit straight through him and in the copper light that was still inside of him. Uh, I thought that was pretty awesome and funny at the same time. <laughs> uh, all of, uh, that's all I have for now. This is a short episode just because of Shark Week and I wanted to make it all shark related. Uh, I hope you guys are watching Shark Week. All the articles are in the description and I will be back again with much more paleo news. Thanks for watching and have a groovy day.